So in my previous video, we unboxed a couple of cocktails to go. And after the first drink, I decided to make this a three-part series because they looked really nice when I when we prepared the drinks. Hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button if you do. Thanks. So we're going to drink it. Yeah. I texted them and they said it's on them. So thanks guys. This is the zombie. Very excited. Dang, that's good. <laughs> so Michelle just <clears throat> informed me that the drink we're drinking right now was the last drink. What was it, Michelle? It was the last drink that I had before I found out I was pregnant with this one, that one. <laughs> yep, we went out Tiki, so there it is. Tiki Tuesday with our friends, had drinks, and then the next morning I took a test and thought I was pregnant. <laughs> yep, this was my last drink. So we're on our second drink here. We're doing the Mai Tai. These are the two glasses that came with my order. Really fun. Need more ice. Yeah. And they even included some garnishes for us. I think they make their own bourbon, bourbon soaked cherries. And this beautiful little lime thing. It's a little old because it's been a few days, but I, I made another one for Michelle's drink. And actually, that shot that we were looking at, it's actually rum. Uh, we tasted it. We think that we figured out what it was for. We remember them putting it inside this lime, this garnish, and lighting it on fire. I don't know if I'm gonna do that right now, but I think, yeah, it's definitely rum. Mm. Yeah. I have a very hard time opening things. I did not. You mean like shake it? No. Yeah. Whoops. Like I did not. I did not shake this. I probably should have shaken this. I did a little bit. <laughs> and I've got our own fun straws. What color do you want, Michelle? We have some of our own cherries here. These have lasted us a long time. These are really good. Let's take the cherry up in there. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Should I light it on fire? All right. Oh yeah. Now that's, that's a Mai Tai. Crazy story. Uh, right after we finished our zombie, we found out online that Ward 8 got a cease and desist letter from the liquor, uh, the Illinois, what is it called? Department. Liquor. Uh, th they basically were told that they can't do what they're doing. But we got ours, um, and they were also dealing with some issues with payment for this. We had to pay through Square. And they didn't, uh, Square froze their account and they have not been able to access all, any of the payments that were made for the to-go cocktails. Um, but they're, they're being great. They, they did this anyway. They, they found out about that Square issue before they distributed this, all the alcohol out and they did it anyway. So I wanted to give a shout out to them and I also wanted to help them out if I could by telling you about their GoFundMe page. They actually have a GoFundMe. I'm gonna link the GoFundMe in the description below and I'm gonna ask anybody who's able to help them out. It's it's a GoFundMe for their staff because they're obviously going through some stuff right now. Okay. <laughs> I almost got you. <laughs> <laughs> like, give me the fork. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>